everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Hi, your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Let's switch things up a bit. Those of you were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here with me, like Less Forever, True Success, 794, Pauline D, Diana, I own and own herself, and as I respect again. If you're new right on over here, let me extend a very special welcome to you. And thank you so very much for joining the family. Now today, this video is not about like cooking and heating and, you know, we're not going to be riding and whistling today. This is a very informative video that I would like to share. That's a, just a little information that I would like to share with you. Wanted to do this little informative video from 2017 coming down in the Christmas. Also wanted to do it for 2018, but still did not get onto it. So now I lead you right into this little information okay okay this is like 16 ounces of sorrel put it together let you see 16 ounces as i said to you before this video is about proportion so this is 16 ounces which is a pound of sorrel half of a kilo this is green sorrel this is what we call it fresh or green sorrel i'm gonna be leaving it for a few days in the sun to dehydrate we are gonna dry the sorrel in jamaica we are saying we are dry sorrel but it is going to be dehydrated. I'm not sure, depending on the temperature of the sun. Maybe this will take two days or, in a, you know. But if you have your dehydrator, you know, it will just take a short time. And some people might use them often. So this is what it looks like. So we are going to do it. And then now, when it's finished dry, it's properly dried. You will see what it comes down to. So this video is like for a proportion. Remember here, it is 16 ounces. When it is properly dried, I'm going to be weighing it, showing you the amount, the content of it, and I'm going to be weighing it so you can understand when you see a certain amount of dried sorrel as opposed to the green one, you will know how to dry your sorrel. You will know how to go about adding water to your sorrel. All right? Okay, now this is the second day out with the sorrel, and this is the 16 ounces of sorrel. And as you can see, it is not fully dried as yet. Probably if we were in summer, and this is would be this was the you know real summer sun, two days would have done it. But I guess one more day. You look at it, you realize how much it is, how small, how it has diminished, and it is gonna even come smaller. The amount is gonna come even smaller when it is properly dried. It's not properly dried. When it's properly dried, everything will be like here and it's crunchiness. If you notice up here, it's still, you can look at it, it's not properly dried. This is not properly dried. It must be dried and crispy. All right. So the next time, in the next clip, you will see the finished product and then we will talk proportion right there. Okay, now family, now that you have watched that little information, let's get into the meat of this. The proof now you saw the amount that the fresh sorrel was you saw during the re dehydrating process how it has been diminishing now this is the finished product this is the finished product of the dehydrated sorrel it's just supposed to be giving you all this it's crispy now I Okay, I have a little scale. I have a long time here, Mr. No, a little kitchen scale, you know. But you see what we end up with the door? This is what I ended up with. But this this wasn't the one I wanted. I wanted something a little more, you know, a little more official like 2019 now. More upon the, 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 the what it's gram side and all of that. But guess what? We didn't get through to that one. So we have guess what? We have a one panka panka with that one here for now. That is a Jamaican thing. The patwa, we have a warm panka panka with this for now. And all of you who are watching and don't understand what I said, it simply means we're going to make do with this one for now until we can get a better one. But in a Jamaican long time, patwa would I say, panka panka. All you my Jamaicans, all you, when last they hear that word, yeah man, we have a warm panka panka. My pan weave with this. Alright, now this scale here. 
Let me put on my glasses here. It's center. It's zero. Okay? I remember. So I don't have to read the scale sideways. Now, this is the finished dehydrated 16 ounces of sorry. So, we're going to be putting it to the test. We want to see, now that it is properly dehydrated, we want to see the weight. Now, look at the weight there. And the weight there is three ounces. I'm a, you see, camera girl? Is it three ounces? Shoot them up, shoot them up. That's three ounces down from 16 ounces. Okay? Now, you have some people asking me some questions like, so what is the purpose of this video? When I do videos, like, you know, sharing information, so what is the purpose of this video? Well, the purpose of this video, you all, my family members, is to show you, because I know a large percentage of you don't get the fresh, sorry, you get the dehydrated ones. What I want you to look at here is to look at the amount that you got when it is, was fresh compared to the amount when it is dehydrated. Three ounces down from 16 ounces. Now, if you go to the supermarket or you go to the store, it's packaged. It's good to go in. This can keep like for till all December again. Once you put it in a package and put it in your cupboard or something, it is good. In a one preservative, in a one nothing. It is good. But what I want you to understand is that when you go and you see something, we're going to work out the grams for you. I think it is 840 grams. How much grams is it? We'll work it and leave it in the description for you. How many grams three ounces are, okay? And you also can help yourselves. What I want you to know is that when you go and see three ounces of dried or dehydrated sorry you know it represents 16 ounces when it is fresh okay therefore you ought to treat it the same with the amount of water that you'll be used to to to, to, to dry in the sorry okay some people say I boil them boil it okay so i want you to know three ounces of sorry when it was fresh it was 16 ounces dehydrated properly dehydrated three ounces so you treat it with the same amount of liquid because this is as strong as ever when it's fixed when it's when it's prepared it is as strong as ever don't go say lad man a little bit of sarin this you know and 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 then put a little bit of water on it no i'll show you in another video remember i think i showed you in a video the white sarin how many uh, what more amount of water I put to the green sorrel so I'm gonna show you in the video following this one the amount of water and how it looks it is the same thing it is even more tastier because now it's cured okay this is what I want to show to you 16 ounces of fresh sorrel as opposed to 3 ounces of dehydrated sorrel you treat it the same way with the same amount of water okay so if you have liked this video if you thought this video did anything this information did anything for you you can leave it in the comment section remember to like remember to share remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel when you do subscribe remember to hit the bell okay your family here a little thing they are working on my street and i like that okay so what i want you to do i want you to share this video subscribe if you have not yet done so okay and just stay tuned for part two when i'll show you what what it looks like and how you treat it with the same amount of water and the finished product